Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Let's have a look at Monster Strike, and then we'll continue the lists of Max Lux uh, per element. And then this time will be for water. Uh, the previous one was for fire, and then um, in the beginning there I talk about like criteria and stuff, so you can look at that if you like. Uh, but just like as in the fire video, uh, first we will look at uh, Pierce uh, Max Luck monsters with the Blast Pump combo. And uh, this is Holes Black. Um, I made a video specifically about him. You can bring a bunch of uh, Lucifer and then just kind of uh, bypass the uh, gimmick that is in there, which you have to kind of manage which enemies are up or down. Uh, with Lucifer, you can mostly ignore that, so that makes the quest uh, pretty easy. Um, he has almost everything that I look for in a Max Luck. Uh, nice stats, high HP, high, high speed. Uh, and then he's a Pierce, he has got a triple null. Uh, flight, no win, no block, and then a blast bump combo. And uh, his triple null, it's the same as a Solomon Ascension, so they could be really good partners together. Um, so yeah, yet another reason to want to make this guy. Okay, one more uh, Pierce max luck with the blast bump combo is Koyuki Ascension. And then um, she is a Pierce with no warp, no block, and then the blast bump combo, of course. And then... Um, her quest is also not very difficult, and it can be very uh, fast if you bring the uh, the right characters, um, especially uh, Pierce Wood characters with no gravity barrier. Um, Slayers help, so you can bring like Nightingale or um, Hanben, I think it is, um, or you can bring um, Snowbow. She's good in there as well. And then another thing about Koyuki is that she has an evolution form, uh, which is excellent for Arcadia. And I actually did make the Max Luck of Arcadia with Koyuki as my uh, Max Luck. She has uh, some Slayers, which work on enemies in there. And then the Tackle Strike Shot will take down some of the guys in one hit, so it's pretty, uh, pretty useful. Koyuki can do uh, double duty for you with her two uh, Max Lucks. Okay, next, let's look at Bounce characters with Blast Pump combos. The first one being Tiger. And then her quest is super easy. Uh, bring a lot of uh, Arthur. Uh, there are a lot of like uh, turrets and uh, drones and things in that mission, so the more targets on screen, the more lasers will come out from Arthur, so you can get through that very, very quickly. And then uh, what I like about her, also high HP, high speed, uh, no gauge, uh, bounce with the Blast Pump combo. And then um, I have said this a few times recently, but I've really come to value, again, these very simple max looks, uh, because uh, more and more we're getting uh, you know quests where there are no... Uh, gimmicks at all. Um, so yeah, just a nice max look like this. Not as good as a Pierce, I would say, but once in a while you come across a quest with the uh, anti-Pierce uh, guys, so you want to bring uh, somebody like Tiger. Okay, one other bounce character with the Blast Pump combo, and then actually she was not on my radar at all until I made this list, and that was uh, Lokia uh, Ascension. Uh, but she is kind of similar to uh, Tiger, just a bounce with the single null and then no gauge. And that is uh, Minesweeper M in uh, Lokia's case. Um, so yeah, without the, uh, the gauge, uh, you can just use her very easily and quickly. Uh, that'll be great for uh, easy quests. Um, she has an 8-way laser, which is good for uh, filling the screen. And then the strike shot becomes a pierce and then goes through blocks. That can be interesting, but... Um, it's every 16 turns, which is not very often at all. Uh, Lokia, her quest is a little difficult, um, but like with so many other super extreme quests, the more of Solomon Ascension can bring, uh, the easier it is. Okay, next is another semi-recent uh, super extreme, and that is uh, Rikson. Uh, actually, I guess she's the newest. <laughs> uh, but she is a bounce with the no gravity barrier, no damage wall. Um, that as a double null is not one that you really need uh, to use both in like the same quest. Uh, but having both available to you makes her very uh, versatile. And so you can bring her to either gravity barrier quests or damage wall quests. And then actually let's uh, move away from water. Let's look at all of the drop monsters with that bounce, null gravity bar barrier, null damage wall. And then looking at all of these characters, I think the greatest balance of like usability and then um, ease of making, Dixon might be the best actually. Uh, there is Ragnarok here, who is excellent, but super duper hard to make. And then there is uh, Yoshitsune, 
who's not too difficult, but I don't think she's as good as uh, Riksong. Stats are low, and then although, although she does have the Meteor Strike Shot, uh, it's 30 turns, which is pretty long, and it doesn't do a lot of damage. And then there's like uh, Fudomio, and then uh, Birthday, and then Dolly, who are not that usable. They're not very strong, uh, but Rikson is pretty darn good. Okay, so that was number five. Uh, number six will be uh, Queen Butterfly, and then Queen Butterfly is solid. She's like good for a lot, like a lot of earlier quests, uh, but she's also nice because she has the uh, the no gauge. I would say for recent quests, she hasn't been very good. I probably haven't used her in maybe a year or more. Um, but you know, just uh, the ratio of like how difficult she is to make to how many like early quests she can go to. Uh, I think she's still worth making, so yeah, Queen Butterfly. Okay, next, let's move into Impossibles and Colossals. And then uh, the next three are all available in the library, so you can play them uh, anytime. And the first one is... Uh, Bishamonten, who I still feel like is underrated uh, to this day. Uh, but she's a Pierce with uh, no warp, no gravity barrier. Uh, that's a pretty rare uh, double null ability sling style combination. And then a meteor strike shot, so she's pretty good. And um, she might be the best pick for uh, making the max luck of Kanan. Um, a lot of people do like a Karen, but she is a bounce, and I don't like using bounce characters in that quest. Uh, but Bishamonten is a pierce, so that's nice. And then the meteor strike shot is also very helpful, um, especially on the uh, last stage. So yeah, I would definitely make Bishamonten if you're wanting to make Kanan as well. Okay, one more impossible is Yamato Takeru Zero. Um, his quest is still difficult, um, but if you have like a very kind of specific team, um, like I used a lot of um, Shinji Kaoru, and they were great because they have strong bump combo and then also the barrier. But yeah, if you can put together a team to, you know, get through his quest fairly consistently, then I would do it. And then like Nixon, he has a double null ability where you're not very often going to need both of those. He has no warp, no damage wall. Um, but, you know, just the versatility of being able to go to both of those type of quests uh, will be helpful. And then he does have a couple slayers, so that uh, helps his damage uh, as well. Okay, next is the partner, and that is the regular Yamato Takeru. And um, his quest, you know, in the library, um, not too difficult with some of the modern characters, um, but I still feel like he's one of the most fun missions in the game. Um, so yeah, if you haven't played him lately, uh, maybe that might be a fun idea to do. Um, overall, he's pretty solid. He has a uh, semi-strong bump combo, the lock-on one-way laser, uh, but it hasn't aged too well. Um, his strike shot is probably the better thing about him. He becomes a pierce. That makes him very uh, mobile, and then he can also do good damage. And then also, uh, Yamato Takeru is kind of the key uh, to entering that first set of uh, Colossal Quests. Uh, he is maybe the best max luck for uh, Avalon, um, and then uh, you can beat Avalon, you can use Avalon in Shambhala, you can get Shambhala and then use Shambhala in Nirai Kanai. And then, um, yeah, you you're on your way to uh, making those max lucks as well. Um, so yeah, Yamato Takeru, very, very strong. And then the final one, the number 10, is going to be Nirai Kanai. Uh, this guy is really, really good. Uh, colossal monster, so it will take some time to make him, but he is worth it. Um, I said pretty much the same thing about Arcadia, but yeah. Uh, he is pretty much uh, Hatcher monster level, and I use him a lot. And really, he might be one of the top 10 max lux in the game, still. Um, I, he's over a year old, I'm sure, but still really, really strong. Okay, so those are my top 10 picks. And then uh, let's look at some uh, honorable mentions. Uh, the first one will be another impossible, not in the library, so it will be difficult to make her, but that is uh, Tai Shakuten, uh, Pierce with Null Gravity Barrier and Null Damage Wall. Um, her too, you're not going to need those two Nulls at the same time very often, uh, but just her overall uh, versatility with those two uh, will be nice. Okay, next we will look at some uh, limited monsters. 
Uh, so yeah, unfortunately they're not available now, but if they ever appear again, if you can, it would be worth uh, making the max luck. Uh, the first one is uh, Shibami. Uh, but she's just a Pierce with no damage wall, no gauge, and then the Blast Pump combo. There's no other water monster with this uh, ability set and Blast Pump combo, so she's one of my MVPs. I still use her. Uh, I used her today, actually, so yeah, she's really good. And then the other one is uh, Kiss Kill Leela here, the Disney version. Um, she has a bounce with no warp and the no magic circle. Um, no magic circle is still very rare for drop monsters. And then... Um, when you enter a quest, you know, you can look at which monsters are used a lot uh, by players. And I've been seeing this Kiss Kill Leela a lot, um, just because there's been more and more uh, no magic circle quests lately. Uh, Kiss Kill Leela is not available right now, uh, but there is the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! collaboration going on now. There's another character in there that you can make the max luck of with no warp, no magic circle. So yeah, if you miss Kiss Kill Leela, make that uh, other one in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, but those are my picks for the top water max locks. Uh, good luck with those. Uh, next, we'll look at uh, wood. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.